Hey planners, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sierra. So today's video, I'm going to share with you an update and flip through on my current Agenda A5. This is my catch-all. Um, I am thinking about changing it to this cover for the fall. So if you guys want to check out this video, then keep on watching. Welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here. So happy that you found my channel. I hope in some way I have inspired you and you will consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell when I upload a new video. I wanted to kind of change this up. I told you guys that I would do an updated video and flip through, so um, that's what we're doing here. And if I have time, I do want to kind of swap this out. That's kind of what I'm doing. Anyways, today my plan is to get this planner all set up for the fall. So I'm not sure if I'll share that with you in this video or maybe I'll share a full reveal fall flip through, but we'll go ahead and talk about this. So you guys know if you've been following me, I have used lots of planners and I've just wanted to see what really works for me and I know having like a disc bound or like this ring system really is my type of planner because I love the customization of it. I love taking my pages out. Um, I do like the petite planner which I have right here next to me. So anything like book bound like this I really like because it's so flat. It just makes it easy to plan in and yeah, so I love anything that's like a book bound or disc bound or ring system. So that's what I've been loving lately. But I'm kind of wanting to swap out my covers. I was considering looking at getting a new like fall cover. They only have Wisteria, which is like a purpley color. Um, and then they have Mauve and Champagne. And then the Camel, maybe. I was considering that one but I really love this one and I just got this one actually I just I've had I haven't had both of these for a while but I really like this one and I think this would be great for September and October I think it would be fun um, usually around the holidays I have I do sometimes set up a holiday planner so maybe I won't use this one as much um, I don't know but I just it you know we love our accessories I mean let me know if you do too. I love having an accessory or just a cover that matches the season. I do. I am that type of planner, but um, the camel would be nice. And I would love it if they did like a metallic cover. I don't know. I wish they would have more love for the agendas. Um, but I am gonna swap out the covers because I'm. I think I've had this one for a while. I've loved it a, a couple of months. I had it, you know, in, in the summer and everything. So I'm ready to like refresh some things and add some fall stuff. Um, you can see she's kind of a little packed and chunky. So everything's been working great. I have taken out um, some stuff already. Like I took out the summer scrapbook paper. So let me just move this over. I have taken some things out already. I've taken out the scrapbook paper, which is in this folio insert. This is part of my wellness section. I have like a cute little folder and then uh, these checklists that I used in the summertime. I did go ahead and put in the colors for, well, August, we're already done through August. I, I was adding this, adding some pages in when I could. Um, so I'll probably take August out because I didn't even use it. But um, that's why I need to get rolling with September so I can put some September checklist here. It's not going to be the same as it was in the summer because I was on a, strict, a stricter diet and I'm adding different foods in my diet now so I know what hurts my stomach and what doesn't. Um, I'm still doing no gluten. Um, honestly, um, I, I just have a sensitivity to gluten is what I see. I don't have celiac um, but I do have a sensitivity to, to gluten and fast food. Um, because they fry it in the same oil, but any anyways um, So that's just stuff th that's notes for me to write down um, But I'm not on any medication or anything like that anymore. So but I have pulled colors To go with the months since I do like color coordinating by the months and I did mention that 
this was kind of hard to do that, but um, purple for September, orange for October, and then November is going to be like, December is green, but I think, I don't know what I'm doing here. Yeah, see, I tried to match this as best I could, but it's really hard, but I'll figure it out. Um, with that. So I have wellness in the front, but I have to take all this out. This is a, a checklist. I was using these from Plan Anything, which I'll go ahead and take out since I'm going to be setting this up anyways. Um, I'm going to be using these notepads that I have and I'm going to take them off. I'm going to punch them and put them in here. And these are notepads from Plan Anything. I want some fall paper in here to use for just jotting notes down, lists and ideas. Like right now I'm doing my fall bucket list. I'm actually doing two different ones. I'm doing like a family bucket list and then I'm doing a couple's bucket list for, you know, me and my husband. So, um, yeah, so I need to take this out. And that's wellness. And then we get to my weekly, which is my weekly view planning. This is the Inspire Compact Vertical Inserts. I still haven't put my name on there. Um, I've added some things to the, this yearly calendar. Um, I added these stickers. I don't know if you guys saw this in the last video. But I added these stickers um, to put birthdays so I don't always have to look at it somewhere else. I don't know. I'm always looking, I think, in another calendar or I'm, I'm using this one. This is actually what I use to prep my planners. But I just thought this would be easier to have it here. So um, I could just use it for birthdays and celebrations and not worry about it for using it for some other custom thing. So just flipping through all this, um, you guys saw that I did like a memory keeping portion here and that's what I've kind of prepped here. So before each month, I so I cut down a cardstock paper to match the divider and I'm still debating if I want to put pictures on here or highlight a moment in the month, you know, because definitely I have to do that once the month is over, or do I just want to decorate it seasonally? Maybe put some quotes. I'm not really sure yet. So I did that for each month. So I have purple, orange. I mean, this is a way to do memory keeping if you want to do something like that. So that's what I have there, and then you do get a note page before each divider for each month. And for September, uh, I'm just gonna use it probably for bucket lists, for ideas, um, or maybe it's like focus on the girls' dances. They have homecoming coming up, so maybe I'll put some reference stuff there you know, stuff that they need for that, or if they're going out before and after, if we're gonna go take photos, <laughs> like all those things I want to put there, because again, this is for my family, and that's what I did here. This is their back to school list for both kids, and then extra things. Um, the same thing with October. October is my husband's birthday. We're having uh, my mother-in-law come in, so I could put ideas of what we're doing. Um, and then November is actually my daughter's 18th birthday. So that's what I kind of plan on using the note before the divider. Of course, November is holiday, uh, Thanksgiving. Um, and if we're traveling, same thing with Christmas. I'll definitely use that page for that, for just prep pages basically for the month. Um, because I do like to have like a little separate planner for holiday planning. Um, so that's what I have going on there. So let's move back a little bit. Well, I don't have to take any of this out. I'm just taking out actually, I may take these stickers out too. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to keep the folder. I'm going to take out these health logs and I need to figure out why or what the color is. 
And I guess that was supposed to be for August. So I'd have a checklist for September. And then this is just, this is just a run on list for ideas. Um, and I guess this was October, October, November, November. Okay, I see I have it. So the back side I'm not using. So I wish that it was the same color on both sides. And then December, December. That's why I got confused. It's because of the back side of the colors on each page. Okay, so I'm keeping all that in there. Um, and this is part of my a weekly those are my weekly inserts until December. And then this is my sticker pocket, which by the way, I did snap this and I wish I wouldn't have done that. So definitely don't do this because I think it just ruins it. I mean, it does work, but sometimes it slides out because this is so heavy. Um, so I wish I didn't cut that. I do have extras of these and I do think that they came out with a new one actually and it has a little design on it for the petite system. Um, the new planners that came out. I'm going to try to share what I see in store because I wasn't sent a box. Um, I actually got sent another collaboration box so stay tuned for that. Um, it's new planners that are for 2024 but yeah I didn't get the petites which is okay. I can um, just share with you guys what's in store. Um, but they do have like new cute ones. I think the main yearly ones is in the wildflower from what I've seen so far. And then they have the rest of like the budget, the wellness, uh, the meal planning, and then like extra notebooks, like I think a dotted line maybe, or just a line, I think it's just line. So this would be the time for you to pick up some of those petite planners if you're interested in trying the daily petite system. Okay, the mill section that I have, I remember putting this in and sharing this with you all. I haven't really touched this yet because I wasn't really ready to start using it. Um, and then we have faith section, which this is something I just can't make up my mind if I want to continue this. I do need to take these out though. So I do scripture writing um, in the horizontal layout. I have it up until August. I don't use the monthly view or the dashboard. I mean, you could, if you were using this for faith, you know, you could use it for your church or study groups and, and stuff like that. If like you put, like if you host things like that, that would be great for all of that information to put down. Um, and then I have the note section for um, extra things for like content creating and just ideas for videos and such. So I don't know if I want to take this out and just do monthly because I am running out of space. So I would take that out and then for the notes section, I'm going to take, sorry, I don't want to show anything I can't. I'm going to take this out because I do have purple that I want to put in here, grid color. Um, I'll take that out later. That's just extra summer notes that I did for videos. And I may want to rewrite those in a different, on a different piece of paper. I know that's a little extra, but yeah, see how this kind of pops? I, I shouldn't have cut that out. But jumping back to wellness, and then, I don't know, I think I want to change these stickers. I don't know, I'll put, I'm going to take these out for now. I finally got the wellness inserts. And I haven't really opened these, so I don't know what actually is this all about. So these are the wellness inserts for the Agenda A5. So again, they have a productivity. I think they have a budget. They have a wellness. They have a meal plan. And then they have notes. Um, so you can get it in line. And then I think graph and maybe dot grid. 
and they all have the gray tabs on them. So this says week of wellness goals and then like a checklist here and it's different colors so it goes through the different colors just like the checklist inserts. So on the back side it has healthy habits, daily water intake, daily steps, um, your goals and then your sleep goals and then you check them off here and then you can add extras and then self-care and joy here which is a basic system and then here is a week at a glance of your daily movement and this is all undated so you can start whenever and so it just has the different colors and I would like to start again I want to kind of match so this would be wait I guess I can't really do that because it just swaps colors throughout the month yeah because this oh on the back is food log so I guess you can't, I mean, you can't really do that because you're like week, week by week. You know what I mean? So like this would be your daily movement, this would be your food log, and then so forth. You got to just keep going. I mean, it is undated though, but like I was just trying to color coordinate to the divider of the month. if this is just a month I don't know but I plan on putting that here in the front with my checklist so actually let me put that behind the divider or the folder put that here but I have to cut these so I did cut them and I just put the whole thing in here so it from what I counted right it looks like maybe you have enough for two months um, so there's 38 pages, but I just went ahead and just put all of them in here. And I'm gonna try my best to fill this out. Um, but yeah, I think this is a you know, basic starter system, you know, tracking your water, your, your steps, your sleeps, your sleeps, your, your sleep goal, uh, like hours that you want to get in or you could also just put in here like your routines, um, AM and PM, your daily movement. I'm definitely going to be using this as functional as I can. If I have time, I will put stickers in here. Maybe I can prep stickers by just putting an icon for the daily movement section. And then what's great about the food log though, because I have like this checklist, and I've been wanting to do this too. I, I need to like sit down and write out my, I mean, I already, like when I go to feed myself, I know what to get, but it's just nice to have it written down and like a reference, like a cookbook or, you know, that's just something that you can look back and um, reference back to is what I'm trying to say. So that I have this in here, it's gonna make it easier to do my food log and it doesn't have to be a food log of, this is what I have to have this week. It's just like a reference page for you so you can get in the habit. So this is just a good habit system to have. And it's not like, oh, I have to eat that every single day. So I could use this for myself. And then the meal planning section, where is it? Right here. Maybe I should put the stickers in the front. I can see it. If I put my stickers here in front of my weekly, um, I don't know. But for the meal weeks, this is, should be for my family. And I'm trying to transition into using this instead of using my petite meal planner, but I just love using the petites. They're just so compact and portable. I can just throw it in my purse or whatever. It's just so easy. Um, 
so yeah that could be like if you're doing two separate meals like um, this could be for your family and then the wellness one could be for yourself if you're on a different diet or whoever in your family is on a different diet you can keep that separate so I'm going to keep my wellness there. And then the last thing is um, faith stuff. So I just kept, I hope it's in here. I kept everything on here. I, this is where I took out the daily. If you guys have been following me and watching me, you know, um, planning this. Oh, I guess I didn't grab it. What is this? Oh, this is the meal shopping inserts. <laughs> okay, so here's um, the extra note pages, which I'm not using. Here's my checklist, extra ones. Where, oh, it may be in this agenda. Is it in this agenda? Let's see, I'm not really prepared. Um, oh, here's my purple. This is what I need purple paper. I don't think I need all this though because my agenda is a little thick. I just need a couple of sheets. Which I'm going to switch this out anyways. I just didn't want to do this on camera but I am going to swap so I'm going to have to take everything off anyways. But while I'm here just go ahead and do this. The note pages in there. I didn't even. I hope they're in here. I think they're in here. So this is all my daily I used last year. They're not in here. What did I do with them? Okay, let me find that real quick. Okay, I found them. So I've been using the um, Harmony Neutral, which was such a beautiful palette. I just, I don't know. This is just so pretty. This is what I've been using for Faith. Um, you can do devotionals, you can do uh, scripture writing, you can do prayers. I just think a horizontal layout is really great, is really great for faith planning. And um, so I, maybe I can do two months at a time. I won't have enough agenda covers to archive. So that's just something I'm thinking about. I can probably use mini discs. I have some mini disc, but because I'm just thinking, I don't want to lose all this. I kind of want to keep this so I can reference back to it. So I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to store this once I'm done using it. Maybe I can put them on mini disc because my other agenda over here, the color blends, has the daily duo inserts in that I've used. So just thinking, both of these are kind of full at the moment, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to archive. I mean, I could buy another agenda. <laughs> Maybe I'll wait until they go on like a super sale. Okay, so this would be my face section and I kind of decorated it, that vellum. And I'm gonna pop in, whoops, September. I just think that's so pretty. I love the, I like the neutral, um, or the Harmony design. I, I loved both when they came out, the colorful and the neutral. And those are from last year's design. Yeah, that's so pretty. Okay. Because I pretty much have the rest of the year in here. So two months fit perfectly. Now I have wellness in here and meal planning. And still doing good. Which I'm actually going to um, swap it. I, I know I keep saying that. I don't know what's wrong with me. You guys got to bear with me. It is late in the day. <laughs> I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut these because I'm just curious if these will fit, but I do add stickers and washi, so it may get a little bulky. 
So we'll see how this works. But um, yeah, it's late in the day and my girls are having a sister day. And so I'm taking the time to try to film a little extra. Um, Cause normally after school, I don't do any filming. It's just too loud and it's too distracting. And, and then, or the boys, when I say boys, I mean my two cats, they'll start fighting and just trying to get my attention. So they'll be like, feed me now. <laughs> Okay. So this is, I, I know this video is not like my prepped videos or I'm just not really prepared, but I hope this is okay. Just like a chat through realness, me prepping my planner. I'm just curious. Okay, so now I have September through December in here for um, and of course, I'm a little behind because we're already in September with my verses of the day. But it's okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to be real. I don't do them every single day. If I am really busy and I don't have the time, I'll have like a dedicated quiet time and I'll catch up and read through the verses that I've missed and reflect on them and everything like that. So um, it's still okay to, if you skip over, it's okay. You can go back and just have quiet time you know to catch up so it is kind of bulk in there so we'll see how it goes but um, I the last thing I want to show you and we'll kind of wrap this up um, before um, I'm gonna just swap it entirely but I'll I'll have like a flip through just to show you guys my setup okay so I have some paper here because the only things I'm gonna add are some stickers I'm gonna add some pretty fall paper and then I'm gonna punch out these note pad papers to put in here and all this is from Plan Anything. If you like anything that you see there's a link down below for her shop and you can save with Sarah 10. But I have this beautiful cardstock that I want to kind of decorate and put in here. So pretty. This is all from her. I even have like Halloween ones. I have like this fun um, acetate with the leaves. Some pumpkins. Also, this is stuff that you could put um, bucket list on or if you're reading certain books or series this fall. These are actually her new, newer ones. So I just wanted to share this because I know it's not Christmas time, but this is something I could also add. And they're all double-sided. And um, I will have to cut these down. I actually have one here that's from her summer one. Um, so it's an A5 size. So I kept this as a reference so I can cut some of these down. But um, yeah, these are her newer ones. Look at this one. This one's so pretty. Um, the little pumpkin pies, the little Halloween ones. So this is where my planner will get a little bulky, so I may have to take those two months out in the back. Those are the Christmas ones. We shall see. Um, but that's it. That's my um, Agenda A5 and what's going on right now and how it's working out. So I, this is my catch-all, and it's my family catch-all planner. So again, I have wellness in the front for me. I have uh, a weekly view for my family stuff. I have meal planning pages in there. I have faith covered in there and then some extra note pages. I absolutely love this. I mean, I do use the daily too and I'll try to do a video on how I do my daily versus my weekly view, but again, this is supposed to just be a week at a glance of, you know, what's going on? What are my top threes? I definitely need to get out of the way and then I have dinners in here in my daily petite I don't put dinners in there it's more of like what do I need to get at Target um, what do I need to sign again for my kids like I have a section if you guys follow me during my plans with me's or whatever I know that's not making any sense but <laughs> okay so here's a look at this and this is what I do I take both of these like this and I cart them around with me um, this is not always in my folio um, because again, these are just so easy to cart 
um, because I'm using more of this as like my catch-all than I am with my folio because my folio used to be my catch-all last year but um, this is kind of taken over that and I just pop these out and take them with me whatever book that I need I take it with me like this so um, you guys have asked about these clear covers so I asked them uh, I went to a EC event thing and I asked them about these in particular and they said that they were a Hello Kitty specialty launch and they don't have them anymore um, and these aren't an A5 I've noticed on Amazon there's more stuff for an A5 size so I don't know you'd have to like get the dimension the dimensions from the Erin Condren website and then possibly look for these on Amazon like clear covers um, but yeah they don't they don't no longer sell these maybe they'll come back out with these I did tell them about how they're popular and a lot of people ask about them so maybe they'll come back but yeah I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and sat down and chat with me in an, in an updated view at my catch-all planner for the fall and if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you on the next one take care stay safe and happy planning bye